and welcome to tutorial number eight on this Porsche 911 tutorial series so as you can see in the last tutorial we uh, mirrored this uh, this right side so because we haven't created we haven't completed the the left side yet so let's delete this mirror image I mean mirror feature right click and click on delete click OK there you go and turn on all the blueprints all the blueprints there you go and take a right view and go to sketch turn on 3d sketch then go to spline from this point here to this point press escape now press the space bar and take a rear view uh, view and then uh, and try to align it with the blueprint like that all right get out of this sketch and now we are going to fill a surface in this portion using fill surface we go to fill surface and we will select the edges here this edge this one and this one it adds the surface between this closed area we click OK there you can see the let's make some changes here Go to rear view and here we have to all right extend it a little bit and then exit this case. Now it's better. All right and next thing we are going to do is we are going to go and turn on 3d sketch and using spline from this corner this point to this point pressing escape and try to align it like that Take a top view. All right, here also we have to align it like that, and like that. Take a right view. There we go. And I think this is okay get out of this sketch fill surface this one this one this one and this one you turn on fix up boundary all right now this is great click OK there you can see surface absolutely fine and now we can uh, we can fill this closed area. I'm going to fill surface this one and this one. There you go. Now we have a very beautiful surface. And let's click on save here. And go to three D sketch. Click on spline. And from this corner to this corner and get out of the sketch and again we are going to use fill surface this one this one all right there we go we got a surface here as well 
so what is the next thing we are going to do next thing we are going to do is we are going to add a little more detail here you can see there is a number plate so we have to let's design that all right hide no don't hide the rear view let's go to rear view and make a sketch on a rear plane let's make a sketch on this plane using line command here from here from here from here and press escape and using this fillet command here let's add a fillet Alright, that's enough. Let's add fillet over here as well. That is also enough. Let's make it horizontal. Alright, let's get out of this sketch. Hide the rear view and go to the trim surface. Trim tool is this sketch, and we'll click on this one and then we'll click OK. Here you can see the surface is deleted and then what we are going to do is we are going to turn on the rear view and then we are going to turn on the 3D sketch using then we will use the line command from here From here to here. And uh, we're going to add the fillet. 40 millimeters is too much. That is okay. Let's take a right view where it is. But it's perfectly the way we want it. Alright. Let's hide the rear view so that we can see what's going on. All right, get out of this sketch. And now what we're going to do is we are going to make a 3D sketch again, and or we can make a, uh, we can do this uh, on a on a right sketch as well. I mean right plane as well. Not a problem. And from this point to this point, press Escape and get out of this sketch. And what we are going to do is we are going to go to fill surface, fill surface, and select all the edges. This one, this one, this one. There we go. That is looking good. And using make a sketch on make a sketch on the right plane. 
sketch and using line command from here Okay, we have got the line which we needed to get out of this sketch and what we are going to do is we are going to use boundary surface from this edge to this edge in this line and now we are going to use selection manager this one, this one, click OK and again selection manager this one and this one click ok again then we click ok alright we've got a surface which is fine and don't forget to click on save button here which is very important and the next thing we are going to do is we are going to go to right view and turn off the shaded view and turn on the wireframe click OK and what we will do is we are going to make a sketch right plane and using spline from here from here to here. Press escape here all right get out of this sketch and turn on the shaded view and go to split line keep that sketch selected and it will select here on this command automatically and go to this other box and select this edge or in this surface and it will create uh, an impression on this surface all right there you go this is what we wanted because our the car had this this impression that the really we needed that all right So this is done and let's mirror our surface, all the surface we have made yet. Let's hide the, all the views, all the blueprints, I mean, go to feature, click on mirror and click on this plus sign and select the reference plane to be right and bodies, select all the surfaces. This one, 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 this one. This one and this one, this one and that is it. Get uh and then click on OK. There you go. This one looks absolutely gorgeous. So, in the next tutorial, we'll be designing more. And see you in the next tutorial. If we come across any kind of doubt or or anything, any kind of confusion, just type in the comment box, and I'll reply it as soon as possible. So, see you in the next tutorial, guys.